Um, okay, hi. So there is this ORM called Pony ORM. It's not that famous, but I think it's uh, interesting and it's a little bit different from SQL Alchemy. So I'm going to create a couple of videos about him. So let's just get started. So if you click here, you'll go to the docs and we need to install it, install it using uh, pip. But before that, I will create a, a virtual environment uh, using virtual environment for Python, if you know that, using this library called virtual env. So this one, you install it globally and using it, you will create um, a virtual environment for each project, for each project you create. So it's a little bit um, similar to the um, Node.js way we, we develop. So the package.json is just the packages with specific versions, right? So and the application will use the packages from there. So it's basic, it's almost the same idea. So let me go to desktop and let me create a folder called um, pony rm underscore YouTube. Okay, so let's go there. And what we'll do, so virtual env my, you can call this anything, so my Python. This is the virtual environment. So this is all the back, all the packages we will install will be added there. But before that, we need to activate it. So source my Python uh, bin stands for binary and then go to activate and just click enter and this will tell us that we are using this virtual environment okay. so now pip we can now install it so pip install pony so if this takes so long, so I will just end the video now, but I will put a link in the description for it. You should read it. And one thing that I will do is in all the examples, they put all the entities inside one file and they don't show a way that uh, allows us to split them to multiple files. I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, if they prove given an example like this, but I searched, I didn't find, uh, but I will show you a way. It's not that hard. So. Okay, so we installed it. Now I think you can put uh, or create the requirement file. So let me just open open this in Visual Studio Code. So we here we have the my Python environment, which is good. This should be added inside your git ignore, by the way, git ignore file, and to tell other developers what the packages you are using and what their version is so you can install them correctly without breaking anything just use pip uh, freeze not sure if this is how so for example the txt okay so this is for the file that tells any developer what is the packages we are using and what the version are so and if you open the repo there is a repo for this code you can you can see the link in the description you will find the requirement to txt file with the packages and there is an instruction on how to you how to install it and run it and i will be using sqlite but i will uh, speak about or show you how you can connect to mysql or postgres um, yeah i think that's it so let's just end now.